Hey guys, it's TF Now Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another action figure review. This is going to be of the brand new Bandai Tamashii Nations SH Figure Arts Naruto Shippuden Kakashi Hatake, the famed Sharingan hero. Very excited to finally have this new Kakashi here. A lot of fans so far have been, what I've seen, very impressed with the brand new Naruto stuff that we've had in the middle of 2022. I'm not even the biggest Naruto fan, and even those figures made my top 10 favorites of the year. I think they were that good. So I'm glad to finally have Kakashi here. Took me a little bit longer than I would have liked from Ami Ami to get, but I think because of the holidays, they were running a little bit slow. And I'm finally back into the show because Funimation locked me out for some reason. Now I'm back watching on Hulu. Anyway, this is a really nice looking patch in here. It's a little bit wider compared to like Naruto's. I think he had a thinner box. So as you can see here, we do have the figure in the box that does say Bandai Namco, as well as SH Figure Arts right there. This box is really nice looking. You also have the uh, figure on the side right there. It kind of looks like it has like brush strokes and outlines on it. We have the Tamashii Nations quality sticker right there, as well as it says Kakashi Hitake, the famed Sharingan hero. Studio Piro's logo, I really hope I said that right. Naruto Shippuden, Tamashii Nations, and the Bandai logo there as well. So, as we look on the side here, it does say Kakashi Hitake again, and you have an image of the figure towards the bottom right there and i think that image is really nice looking once we get towards the side here it says kakashi hatake in english as well as famed sharingan hero sh figure arts and then you have this just this profile shot really just this whole body shot of kakashi right there not much on the top it just has the sh figure arts logo and the read up of the sh figure arts line if you look right here though you have these where it says uh Kakashi Hitake, Fame Sharingan Hero, another image with some different accessories right there. Now we look towards the back here. This is a wide shot right there of the back. Zooming in a little bit, you can see some of the different poses and option parts that you get with this figure. And then that's the bottom right there. None of this is translated with the Bluefin sticker since I've had this imported. But you do see where it says HS15 and up in a barcode just in case you need it at all. Let's go ahead and get this figure out of the packaging. And here is everyone's favorite Jonin out of the packaging. I think that this is a very fun figure. I think they've done a great job. A couple of things they could have sprinkled into this offering to make it a little bit more worthwhile, but I still am having a lot of fun with it, even though I just took it out of the packaging. Let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories, then we'll take a closer look at the figure. As you can see, we have a lot of accessories for this figure. If this is a good enough look for you in terms of what all the accessories are here with this figure, I do have the chapter function enabled so you can skip ahead to the next section of the video. Other than that, we have a standard instruction manual for a lot of Tamashii Nation's products. They've been doing a lot of paperless ones uh, lately though, to where, you know, it's just the QR code on the box you scan. So it's cool to have an actual paper one here. This is a pretty nice uh, instruction manual that shows off a lot of the different accessories and how to use different accessories. There's also a back to it too, the different hands and different option parts. So the first thing I do want to talk about with this figure, if I pan down a little bit, is this face sculpt here. This, uh, I should say, alternate head. And the face sculpt on this alternate head is pretty good. This is the only one that we have in this face where both eyes are exposed and open. The other two with, uh, you know, the left eye exposed, the other two are closed here. Uh, this is a pretty nice head sculpt overall. It is the exact same hair sculpt as the one that we get right out of the packaging, which is fine. Maybe, you know, part of me wants it to be a little bit more dynamic on this one, but at the same time, he already has a pretty dynamic hairstyle, so I'm fine with how it looks, you know, being both, you know, the same one on both heads, I should say. One thing I do want to mention is that I wish that the actual you know, hair looked a little bit better. We do have this paint here for the bottom, you know, towards the ends of his hair. And it's just molded in this uh, gray plastic here. I don't think it looks bad. I think the sculpting's really nice, but just a base coat of this uh, color here would have been nice. Just, you know, what we have here would have looked good here, I think. But we do have this uh, back of the headband here that actually does spin around. Uh, so it does articulate. That's actually pretty cool. A little bit of detail there. I think it's a little bit of a ball. I think now it's mostly a swivel. And it does pop off there. And now hopefully I can pop that back on just as easily. Yep. Goes right back on. Let's see interchanging the faces. How easy is that? It's just a up and down system. Sometimes it, you can go in and out. Or lately they've been going up into the head there. So that's how that system works there. I really like the printing here. If 
I can get a little bit closer his uh, focus, you can see the Sharingan in his eye right there. A little bit of a scar too. The Hidden Leaf logo, as well as the silver paint in the headband, that looks fantastic. The other eye looks good. The uh, I feel like the eyebrow is bleeding into that eye socket just a little bit too much. The separation of this like dark, dark blue, like blackish blue uh, mask with the skin tone, all oh, that looks good. And the sideburns there look pretty good. I'll take a look at the Sharingan faces at the same time here. It can be a little bit hard to decipher which is which. Uh, I don't exactly remember which ones are which right now, but they are. You, know, you look close enough, they are different in terms of the printing on the left eye there. One of them is Mongekyo and the other one is normal. I just don't really remember right now. But you can see the other eye being close is really nice. Uh, again, separation of the skin tone here with the mask looks pretty good. The scar comes through nice. And I don't think the problem with the uh, eyebrow is as bad on this uh, these faces as the other one I just showed off. Now for the ones with just the uh, left eye sculpted. We have this closed eyes expression here. Uh, you know, like when he's talking to the, uh, you know, Team 7. Uh, or maybe relaxing. The eyebrow there looks pretty good. Not much to go off there. And then we have this more comedic eye here. Very wide open eye. A little bit of paint for the eyebrow. Looking pretty good uh, as well. So, I dig those. We do have the book here. I love the printing on the back here. Oh, that looks fantastic. It's a nice orange color here. And we do have just a blank page, but I'm fine with it being blank. A little bit of a uh, separation of pages in there. Looks like this is a separate piece. But this is a pretty nice accessory. You can not only use this for Kakashi, but maybe, maybe uh, other characters as well. Now, when it comes to the hands, a lot of these can be used for different uh, Jutsu hands. And there are also a bunch of posing hands. So this is this wide open spread finger pose hand. Uh, the set here, we get a lot of ambidextrous hands. And we have... Uh, the palms have pretty good detail and sculpting with the wrinkles. The separation of the uh, blackish blue of the gloves with the thumbs are pretty good. It looks like a tiny bit of a splotch or something going on there. So I don't think it's 100% perfect, but you gotta look really close to see the imperfections. We do have the back of the hands with some pretty good silver paint and some rivets sculpted in there. Pretty much all these hands are very similar in terms of sculpt and paint work. That's with the... Uh, so you kind of like relaxed hands, but there's also a particular pose he does, which I'll take a photo of at the end of the video. I don't remember what it's called right now. I know I need to keep watching the show. But the back of the hands, again, look pretty good. One of these hands I looked at earlier has a bit of a, of a paint splotch on them, but these are book holding hands. We do not get uh, kunai or kunai holding hands, unfortunately, with this figure. One thing I've, I've kind of worked out, it's not going to be the greatest grip of all time, you can kind of fake a kunai in here like that. That's Naruto's. So if you have an extra Naruto, if you bought extras for you know, Shadow Clones. This combined jutsu uh, hand here, you can see the holes for the sockets. And we do have the back of the hands with this pretty nice silver paint. And this is sculpted rather nice. And I forgot to mention, a lot of these uh, hands have really good sculpting in the fingernails too. Moving along, we do have these index and middle finger jutsu hands looking really good. We also have these clenched pose hands that can also work as different hand signs or jutsu hands if you wanted to as well. The palms look pretty good. I think there's a little bit of a black splotch on the middle finger and the thumb on this one, unfortunately. Last but not least, we have a left hand uh, you know, grabbing the, uh, the headband so it can expose his left eye. And there's a little bit of a splotch in the middle finger. And the back of the hand looks pretty good. So a lot of accessories, unfortunately. No weapons or uh, effects pieces. But Tomashi Nations did show off a while ago they, that you can use the uh, new Sasuke's Chidori effect on this figure. It's a bit of a snug fit. Um, I think it looks a little small, but it still looks really good on this figure. And you can use it on the other arm as well. The first thing I want to show off with this figure is this head sculpt that comes packaged with pretty nice looking... Similar issue I have with this compared to the alternate head is the paint is a bit lackluster in the overall hair. The actual sculpt is really good. Like, that is undeniably how Kakashi's hair looks. But, you know, it does, you know, 
kind of blends in a little bit as like this does in some angles look the same as this but i do think it would have been nice if we just had this base coat on the bottom you know the ends of the hair here throughout the rest of the hair i guess they tried that it didn't look good i don't know i think they could have made it work and then i'm pretty sure this will all yeah this also articulates as well and then the left eye here is just a normal very basic printed eye there looking really good hidden leaf logo and uh silver paint all that looks fantastic as well uh, not much going on in the neck, but that's pretty accurate to how it's supposed to look. I think the flak jacket on this thing looks fantastic. Part of me thinks it could have a little bit of, I don't know, maybe shading in the green, but it looks fine as it is too. So, you know, honestly, if it ain't broke, don't fix it if you ask me. I don't think it's broke. I think the, uh, the top here with the silver, all that looks good. And the back here, some of those silver... Um, Okay, that was just that was just a spec. I thought there was silver uh, scuffing on there. The back logo here that looks really good, nicely painted in red. I think it might, yeah, it's painted. I thought it was molded in red for a second. You get that on the side of the uh, shoulders as well. Pretty nice wrinkles also throughout the whole flat jacket. I think the collar piece looks pretty good too. I believe, yeah, this looks like it to be a separate piece compared to the rest of flat jacket. So hopefully it doesn't get in the way of articulation too much i think it might get in the way of neck articulation a little bit but if if it moves i think it's it's actually not too bad nice zipper going all the way down here it looks like we have that continued paint and this separate piece here which is very similar to naruto's we have this harder plastic uh piece right here that's a little bit wobbly i'm not the biggest fan of it but i don't hate it either i think the pockets uh, pouches i should say up here are also really nicely sculpted there's some more wrinkles i forgot to mention there this pouch here is also really nicely done. It's just one solid light brown color, but the wrinkles, you know, while subtle, still look good. And it does have a bit of a ball joint, as you can see, moving around. So I like that. All right, moving back to the arms here. So I don't love that I can clearly see the R. Can I see the L? I can't tell that much with the, this side. Could be somewhere else. Oh, there it is. But the R is, it's its the same color plastic, so it's not going to be too distracting. Just me shining it right now. It's a bit distracting. It's its fine. It's, it's just a tiny, tiny nitpick. The overall sculpting here, so, oh boy, I don't know what's going on there. That's a little worrisome. You see that? I'm not going to mess with that too much. The arm's a little wobbly for some reason. I'm going to have to look into that. Um, the wrinkles are done pretty well. It's just mostly, I think, molded in this or it has a base coat of this darkish blue blackish whatever color um they do that a lot with their figures i do wish the paint was a little bit better maybe some shading to bring out these details but it looks fine as it is a little bit of exposed skin and then the fists this is another nitpick it's just that the wrist looks a little too much like a ball joint it, it's fine it really is uh we do have you know different sculpt for the actual end of the glove there and the fists i do think look pretty good is there any splotching on mine i don't think so on here other side looks just fine there's some wrinkles in the palms there i think the skin tone comes through a little bit too much on the palms um i think better than that than uh you know the blue going onto the finger it still should look just a tiny bit better we do have some pretty good wrinkles you know not just in the crotch, but it looks like they try to make it consistent with the actual upper hips, which is actually, actually kind of redundant, I feel like, me saying upper hips. The back here has just one seam line all the way down in the pants. A little bit of pockets sculpted on the sides. One long seam line on the side, inside too. We have the really nicely done wrinkles on the side here. But when you bend the knee, it does look a little too soft. They did attempt actually some uh you know wrinkles on the sides and a bent seam line which i think is a really nice attention to detail it's just the front of the knee that looks a little too smooth I if they put in some detail it might have gotten in the way of articulation maybe just a tiny bit would have been nice though the wrappings around the leg here where the white separates from the uh you know, bluish black that looks good that pouch is just molded in this color but still looks really nice a little bit of white bleeding on there unfortunately Lots of better wrinkles around the uh, you know upper calves, I should say. Looking pretty good. And there's not much on the back of the knees. Just a little bit of sculpting on the back of the knees. Well, hopefully I didn't miss anything up here. I don't think so. If so, I'll come back around. 
wrappings around the shins going around the ankles all that looks really good too pretty much the same color as what we get on the um right thigh there uh it's just this base coat of this off-white and i think it is sculpted really nicely and then we get down to the feet so there's something a tiny bit weird now you're looking at this you know the separation here and here and it clearly looks like a separation but they did paint it so that way uh i guess there's just not a weird amount of blue here compared to that which i'm fine with it still looks a little weird because of that gapage you know when you do that but i think that they did as best as they could with this particular design limitation that they had so i'm not going to knock it too much the front of the ankles has some pretty good sculpting last but not least the toes they do look a little blocky because of the hinged toe but the exposed toes have some pretty good paint on there the top here does have some pretty good sculpting uh, that's not too bad if, if you ask me when you articulate that so that's cool the bottom of the sandals looking really good i really like the treading on here so there's a lot of great details could have some better paint work but what paint is there is really well done i'm gonna have to look into that because i'm not a big fan of why this is a little bit gummy unless it's supposed to be like that they're implementing some kind of articulation i'm not gonna mess with this too much before we start articulation i do want to acknowledge something i forgot to mention in the detail portion where people have been saying the hands look a little bit too big for this character and the head looks a little too small i actually don't think the hands look too big maybe they look a little bit in some areas but i think they're fine i don't think the head is too small maybe in some angles but I don't know right now it doesn't look too small to me if you ask me okay so articulation wise we have a dumbbell joint going into the head and into the neck and then a separate ball joint going into the body so it allows for side to side like this really good uh the up is really good even though it snags a little bit on the back of the collar and then down is pretty decent too and then the rotation you know it gets in the way the collar gets in the way a little bit but still really good a little bit of a hinge, I believe, going to the top of the logo right here for the flak jacket. Forgot to mention the serial printing on the back is a little distracting, but you just move it like that and you're covered. Uh, we do have this separate piece of plastic here that moves uh, you know, around for this butterfly joint, basically. It can pivot up and down a little bit. Arms go out that much and then you know it goes all the way around here. I actually think there might be a little bit of a hinge right here. I wouldn't mess around with this too much. I wouldn't like pull it out either. I think it's supposed to be like this. I think they've implemented articulation somehow that's side to side, which is kind of crazy. But we do also have a swivel that works just fine. Double jointed elbows. I think there's a separate, you grab like the glove here. I think there's a separate like wrist where the skin tone is that can move. And then you do have a hinge and swivel ball joint there. So it goes uh, uh, in and out. You can make it go up and down too. Already crazy amounts of articulation. Now, ball joint waist goes back that far forward. Can, actually, it doesn't really want to go side to side at all to, at the chest, but it can go a little bit, uh, you know, pivot side to side. Rotation, I should say, it's not great. You get the rotation at the waist. Even then, it's a little bit limited here, but that combined back motion, as you can see, that's really good. Combined forward, really nice side to side and then the, the swiveling is not the greatest okay we don't have drop down legs but they do go forward pretty nicely i guess it's how these are sculpted back is fine we do have in and out almost perfect splits upper thigh swivel double jointed knee uh there might be a little bit of swiveling here uh i'm not entirely sure but there is a separate swivel at the shin right there what's crazy is there's also this like ball joint right here at the ankle like the top of the ankle that's insane it swivels there too and then we do have an up and down hinge it's a little bit tricky on mine the up's pretty good down is decent we do have ankle rockers and then a toe hinge before we do size comparisons measuring out the figure really quick we're looking at really close to like 15 to 16 centimeters towards the top of the hair that's pretty close to about six and a quarter inches tall so as you can see, Kakashi here with the rest of the Shippuden team, seven figures. He's going to be the tallest out of the group. I still think Naruto is a little bit too tall. I haven't got to the Shippuden yet, though, so please correct me if I'm wrong. He's supposed to be that tall. Over on the far right, we have the SH figure arch due to Kaizen Satoru Gojo, which is a pretty tall figure. I think it's about a quarter inch taller than Kakashi. 
Overall, I am very satisfied with this figure. I do think it's done incredibly well. Just a few minor nitpicks, though. I do wish the hair had a baseline coat of gray paint, but I think the sculpting is there. It just, I think paint would have made it look a little bit better. It does look a little too plasticky to me. I do think the overall figure does need a little bit better paint because it's just mostly molded in plastic, but the molding here is really well done, and the paint apps that are on here, the only smaller details are really fantastic too. I don't think the head or the hands are a little too disproportionate, maybe in some angles, but I think they're fine. And the biggest complaint I think some people may have is that it doesn't really come with any weapons or effects pieces, which I totally get, but we do get a lot of extra stuff. There's a lot of different hands, a lot of different faces, a lot of stuff you could do for different posing and different action scenes. So that's going to be fantastic in that regard. The articulation on this thing is insane and the details sculpted on here are really good. I'm really digging this figure and again, I'm not even that big of a Naruto fan yet. From what I've heard from people who own the previous Kakashi, this is a fantastic update as well. So if you're looking to pick this up, I do have links down in the description below. It is not in stock yet, but hopefully it will be soon in the links that I provide. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment down below what you think about the figure, what you think about the review. Leave a like, share amongst your friends, follow me on Instagram for more content over there, and I'll see you guys later.